Welcome Sagittarius. I'm back guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. Um, I have been taking a little bit of time off. Um, I have family in Brunswick, Georgia. Um, and everyone is protesting there for the I Run With Mod. So that's where my focus has been. That's my hometown. That's where my focus has been. All right. So let's get back to it. Back to business, guys. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. I would love to have you here. Um, and keep in mind, guys, that these readings are very general. So they may or may not resonate with you. All right, so let's get a overall message for Sagittarius. It's going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What message do you have for Sagittarius for the month of May? All right, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Four of Pentacles, and it's in the reverse. So maybe you are releasing, okay? Maybe there's something that you possibly was hanging on or clinging on to. You're possibly being, you know, more open to releasing something. I got the Six of Swords reverse, okay? So you're not over something. So maybe you're holding on to something, okay? I got the hangman reverse. Okay, you're waiting for something to be over. You're waiting for something, the pathways to clear. Knight of Wands. You guys, this energy, okay? And I also have the king of swords reverse. Past energy is the magician reverse. And for future energy, we got the death in the reverse. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Uh, I have Capricorn here as well. I also have Leo's energy. I got the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I can definitely see that something isn't progressing. Like, there's been some type of delay on something, and you want things to pick up. There's been some type of delay here. Um, you could be dealing with an authority figure um, or someone like a boss, or um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or you're kind of just pissed at how things have slowed down, okay? I feel like things have come to not a complete stop, but... It's just how slow the process of it has slowed down dramatically. Okay, you're ready to get things back going. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You are most definitely like getting kind of antsy. Things have slowed down. Do you, why is the Six of Swords in the reverse here? Let's see. Let's just go ahead and see. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Nine of Cups, okay. You're wanting things to, to pick up, most definitely. You're wanting to get past the hump, get over some type of hump. <sighs> And you're ready to <laughs> be social again. You're ready to, I feel like you guys are are really having effects of the pandemic. I feel like you guys are just ready to like things to go back to normal or the way that they were. I feel like something has slowed your process of things down. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. 
You're waiting for something to be over. You want something to be over with. You're over it. You're over it. Whatever this is, you're over it. And you're like, yeah, you know what? Y'all can have this. I want to go back to what I had going on. Why is the King of Swords reverse? The Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Eight of Wands, okay. So maybe you've been in communication with a fire sign or you've been watching. I feel like you guys may have been keeping your eye on something. Could be internet. You're watching someone possibly, a fire sign. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Someone is, I'm getting like someone's complaining here. I'm getting that desk. Oh, someone's complaining here. And we got the Emperor. Aries is energy. But very, you got two very dominant energies here with the Emperor and the King of Swords. Very dominant. For some of you guys, you could be um, communicating with the boss. This could be a work situation, okay? So, um, someone's been getting a lot of complaints or you want to com make some type of complaint about a situation but you're 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 over this like you you're over something why is the magician here in the reverse queen of pentacles your focus could be as well on your money your career your finances okay yeah, your stability, most definitely. You're focused on your stability. For some of you, this is home life, maybe possibly a marriage here with this four of wands, okay? But your focus is on stability. So something is possibly messing with your stability. You may have some type of run-in um, as far as like a check or with the dealings with the bank. Why is the four of wands here? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so it's definitely about stability. Okay, and like we got the Knight of Pentacles here. Something slow has slowed down. Okay, something it could be your money, or it's some. It's your money may be taking a while to get to you. Okay, and you're ready to see some type of progress. Maybe you've been making complaints. You've been filing complaints um, on a certain individual or an institution or something in that nature. Okay, we got the death card in reverse here for future energy. What else the death card here? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. This could most definitely have something to do with your finances. Okay. This could definitely have something to do with your finances. Like things, this is like a really small offer, okay? A small offer and it catches you by surprise. Like, I feel like you're thinking about your money, okay? Your stability. And you're just ready for this to be over with. A lot of you guys are, you know, trying to get back to work. Why is the chariot here in reverse? Some of you could be dealing with the cancer. But this just talks about, you know, things not progressing. Yeah, and I got the justice card. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. But you're just trying to find a balance, okay? You're trying to find a balance, a way to balance things out. Yeah, a higher fit, okay? This is possibly, most definitely, like a marriage could be uh, in a stuck place, okay? This is also, um, this talks about things that being done in an orderly fashion, 
Um, it could be a church. It could be um, some type of religion or something that, you know, maybe you feel like you can't go to. You can't go to the courthouse. You can't go to church. You can't. Like you can't handle any, you can't handle anything that needs to be done, okay? Because we got the chariot here in reverse, so there's no forward movement. It's like you're being held back on handling business. Because I'm getting that this could be a business, okay? I'm getting that this could be some sort of business. Some of you guys have, you know, uh, a business. And then we got King of Pentacles here in reverse. So definitely, like... Finances are turned upside down right now. I have the King of Pentacles reverse. You could be uh, dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups and the Temperance. So someone here is trying to find a way to balance this out. Okay. And it's just causing a lot of confusion. Um, I just feel like people aren't at peace, okay? Temperance reverse. This is you guys' energy. But with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like you're focused on your family, okay? Like, you, you're, you're able to possibly keep, you know, what's around you happy, but maybe you aren't able to do anything extra, and it's frustrating, okay? Because I got two people working here. So maybe there was two incomes coming in and now there is possibly only one or, you know, things have just may have been tight. Okay. Why is the sun card here? Okay. We got the hermit. All right. You're looking forward to better days. Okay. You're looking forward to better days. I do feel like a lot of you may be, you know, staying up late trying to think of ways or this is possibly like just just overwhelming a little overwhelming for you and i got the devil here why is the devil here i feel like a, some of you may be dealing with the capricorn like i think i said that already but the will of fortune in reverse and the judgment in reverse i feel like you just look at this as all bad. Like, I, I feel like you're, the way you're viewing this um, needs to be reviewed. Like, looked over or um, looked at from a different angle, okay? Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Let's see. What message is there for my Sagittarius? Thank you. All right. I got boundaries. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay. So boundaries, some type of boundary needs to be set. And I'm getting as well that we got to get grounded. Okay? Get grounded. Connect with nature. Um, become more level-headed. Do things that you feel like, you know, have a set. Okay, well, I'm not going to do this this week because I need to do that. I need to save because money is tight for everybody. You know, every money is money is really, really tight for everybody right now. Okay, so boundaries are going to have to be set. Um, thank you, Spirit. I have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay, it looks like you guys are in a... Everyone's possibly looking to you to... Make a forward move. We got just say yes. And then we got a great gathering, okay? So there's some type of gathering or coming together. I know we're supposed to be social distancing, but I feel like you guys um, have some type of, you know, soul tribe. And it's all coming together, 
soul tribe, okay? So say yes, okay? Maybe you need to be around, you know, certain energies to help you come up with ideas. Maybe you guys can come together, get make a come together in some type of group setting and come up with ideas on how to, you know, um set boundaries, whether it be in the home or just in regards to your finances. Setting boundaries is going to be very important for you for the month of May. Let's see what the angels have to say. All right. Success. I got yes. Okay. And I also got weight. All right. So something here for you is going to be successful. All right. Let's see. What other message is there for Sagittarius? I got helpful people. So like I said, like, and then we got yes again. Within the next few months. Within the next few months, okay? In the near future. Wow, look at this. There's something better. So something better is going getting ready to come towards you anyway. And it's going to involve a group of people. People are going to be um, more open to you, more helpful towards you. Um, I feel like you guys um, have like a soul tribe. Give me one more card for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. All right. We have remain positive. And also, guys, communicate clearly what it is that you want so that it comes to you. Um, but you need to remain positive, okay? There's no need to worry. There's no need to worry, guys. No need to worry. I feel like things are going to work out. Success is most definitely here. So let's pull a clarifier here. I want to see why success is here. All right, we got the Hierophant again, okay? So this is setting boundaries. This is also dealing with the Hierophant. This could be like in some type of group, some type of group setting, okay? Like I said, it could have something to do with a church or a religion or something that is done with structure, okay? So coming together and working together and being on the same page and doing things by the book, is going to be successful. So I do feel like this is about setting your boundaries. Okay. And I feel like whatever plan of action that you're going to take is going to be very look by the book. Like, look, this is what we're going to do. And this is how we're going to do it. And this is what we're going to stick to. Okay. A moral, a code of conduct, whatever, whatever you put in place, it is going to be successful for you. Okay. Some of you may have to give up um, some habits. Okay. Maybe whether it's we got the three of cups. All right. This is hanging out with friends. This is, you know, um, partying a little bit, may drink a little bit or whatever you do for recreational, you know, for on that note. Okay. Some of you guys may have to give that up for the month of May. And, you know, that could be the boundary that you need to set in order to get what you need to get financially and focus on your finances and finding balance in, in that part of your life. Okay. We got helpful people. We got the Eight of Pentacles, see? There's effort and work being put in. Um, let me see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Give me some more messages, okay? Five of Cups reverse, okay? Yeah, see, you guys feel like this has stopped your money. You guys feel like this has stopped your, your flow of income because I got a definite, like, er, uh, ending, and you feeling, like, you know, regretful because you feel like there has been some type of complete stop to an opportunity that was there. You feel like you missed some type of opportunity. Okay. I feel like you're going to have to work together with someone. You're going to have some, someone here is going to have to step in and help. I feel like you guys need some type of assistance or there's a group of people that can come together and, and find a way to balance something out, 
Okay, it could be an opportunity. It could be a situation in regarding to work or money, finances. I'm definitely feeling like you guys focus for May is your money. Why is the devil here? For some of you, this is some of you may um, be dealing with, you know, just certain habits, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of things that you've been tied and bind, bind to. You've been doing this for a while. It's just certain things are could just be a habit. Um, and feeling like you can't do that is kind of stressful. Um, feeling like you can't make the moves that you want to make is, you know, kind of pissing you off a little bit. Okay. Let's go to remain positive here. Yeah, two of pentacles and the justice card, okay? Finding a way to balance this out. Both of these cards are about balance, okay? Both of these cards are about balance, okay? Um, there's going to have, you guys are going to have to balance, balance, um, balance your life out, okay? Boundaries are going to have to be set. Look, you're going to have to try new things, all right? You are going to have to come up with new ideas. We got the Empress here in reverse. Oh, some of you may be communicating with someone new. Um, this could be like a third party, a female. One of the Eight of Wands here. Knight of Cups reverse, yeah. I feel like you guys are okay asking for help, asking for some type of assistance. Some of you may have someone that you can go to and ask. Maybe there's a loan. Maybe you're asking for some type of loan. Um, I'm getting that too as well. For some of you, you could um, be asking for assistance from of, of some woman okay i'm getting a woman here with the empress and the queen of wands okay so um this could you know be a resource to you okay but i feel like you guys are going to find some type of way to balance this out okay thank you guys so much for tuning in if this message resonated with you give me a thumbs up don't forget to um share with your family and your friends as well all right, guys, until next time, I run with my child for now.